Uh, I can't think of this young man's name, but there was a guy who lived upstairs. And he was a little peculiar fella. And uh, he asked me and Ted to go to the game with him. You know, the, the Falcons or whoever was playing. And we never wanted to go. But this particular day, we said we were going to go with him. I said, you know, he said he got the tickets. So we know we ain't going to be in the nosebleed section. You know, we think we got all the sense in the world. That's how we do sometimes. And, and, and grace is a gift. But we think we have all the sense sometimes. And so we turned him down so many times. And he asked us, I think it was the, 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 the Bayou Bash or something they was playing up, up, up there in the Latin Bay. And uh, two of those historically black teams were playing in the dome. Well, we decided to go with him this time. We know the tickets weren't going to be no good because, you know, we got all the sense in the world. So we go over to the game, and his father was a, was a janitor. He had a janitorial business. Well, his father had a skybox at the, uh, the dome. All the food <laughs> you could have. And at that time, we would try to drink the grown, grown folks would drink. And man, they had some exotic things that I hadn't seen since then. You know, some of the names that was in the, you know, on ice that you could have as much as you wanted. Now, that was mercy. Because here we are, he asked us to go to the game on more than one occasion. He didn't climb it, said we wasn't going to go to the game because we know he didn't have good tickets. And the whole time, he had a skybox. And so that was mercy on this play. Thank you for allowing us, asking us what? One more time. You could have stopped the first time and said no, but he asked us one more time. Did we deserve another chance? No. Then he asked us the second time. We said no. Did we deserve another chance? And here it is. He gave us another chance to go to the game, to sit in the skybox, to eat all the food we want to eat, and drink all the wrong folks stuff we want to drink. Now, come on. Just mercy on display in your life. And that's what God will do. He'll ask you one more time. And you say no. Do you want to be great? Yes, sir. Then we don't do the things it takes to be great. So he asks you one more time. Do you want greatness on display in your life? Mm -hmm. He asks you again. You don't deserve it. So stop talking yourself out of it. Now, my time is about up when I look over there. I want to say this. There's possibility and there's probability. He did not ask you to look at the probabilities. He asked you to look at the possibility. That's all you got to consider. And we're so, well, let me say me. I'm going to use I stands. I am so used to looking at the numbers. I am real good at probabilities. How this probably not going to work out. How this probably going to do this. How this probably going to do that. How it's a, a low probability for me. And all he wants you to know is, I just want you to know, with Jesus, is it possible? Whatever you're going through, now get your knee and put it right here in the front of your mind. Whatever it is you need. We'll take a little moment. Whatever it is you need. Put it at the front of your mind. Whatever it is you need. You got it there? Now I just want to ask you this. Not is it probable. I don't care about probabilities. In theory, that'll help you out. In theory, can the theory of Jesus do it? With Jesus, in theory, is it possible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it possible, not probable, possible? Yes. 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 And that, that's how faith unlocks in your life. That's all you focus on. Yeah. Is that it's possible. Last 